Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Brittany and I'll be guiding you through class today. Now today's class was a requested video and I really loved the idea. So it's going to be wrist free and forward fold free, meaning we won't be doing any poses that bear any kind of weight on the wrists and we won't be folding forward. Now, if those are things that don't normally get in the way, this is still gonna be a really great flow and you're gonna feel so great afterwards. The only thing that you need for class today will be a strap. I just grabbed the strap off a rope. So you could do something like that, get a scarf, a long sleeve shirt, anything will do. And then just find somewhere comfortable to work on and I'll meet you over there. Okay, come meet me on the floor. Have your strap close by. We'll be using that towards the end of class. Bend your knees, soles of the feet on the ground. If you have to roll onto the side, go ahead and do that. And then relax down. Walk your feet in towards your hips. Bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your hands around your shins and start with little circles. Massage out your low back and release any tension. And then switch directions. Pause in the center. Lower your feet back down to the ground about mat distance apart. And then let your knees fall in to touch. Relax your hands down by your sides, or you can place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, whatever feels comfortable. Allow your shoulders to relax down. Relax your belly. Relax your face. And then begin to notice the rhythm of your already occurring breath. Notice what it's doing. And we're gonna to start to deepen into our breath together. So empty out any stale air. And start to breathe in through your nose. Fill up your lungs, feel your rib cage expand. And exhale it out your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Continue to make this connection with your breath. Noticing the little details like the air passing through your nostrils or the way your belly expands when you take deep breaths in. Allow your body to soften as you exhale out. Take one last breath in. And then as you exhale, release your hands down by your sides with your palms facing down. Open your knees so they're in line with your ankles. Ground down into your heels and then gently press your hips up towards the sky. Squeeze your glutes. Gentle tuck of your chin towards your chest and then lower your hips back down. Inhale, lift your hips back up. Exhale, lower them down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale down. And then windshield wiper your knees side to side. Pause through center. Now lift your shoulders up off the ground, Ex extend your hands by your sides, palms facing up, 
and then dipped side to side as if you're trying to reach for your ankles, moving left and right, trying to keep your shoulders up, warming up the core. Good, keep going. Keep pulsing, keep your shoulders up. And then pause in the center. Interlace your fingers behind your head, press your elbows back, and then take some curls here. Crunching up, grounding down into your feet, lifting your shoulders. Feel the heat and the sensations in your stomach. Pause up at the top and slowly lower your head back down. Lift your heels up so they're parallel with the ground. Reach for the back of your thighs and rock and roll all the way up into a seated position. If you find your back rounding here and you need a little bit more support, your knees are up high, reach for a pillow and sit on a pillow. Come to a comfortable seated position. You can relax your hands on your knees. And take a breath in as you lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, relax them down and back. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, lift. Exhale, relax your shoulders down and back. Pin them there. And drop your chin down towards your chest. Rock your right ear towards your right shoulder for a shoulder stretch. An option to place your hand on your head to nudge your ear a little bit closer towards your shoulder. And relax your left shoulder down. Release, drop your chin back down towards your chest. Take opposite ear towards opposite shoulder. And reach for your head if you did so on the other side. And relax your right shoulder down. Release your chin back through center, lower your hand, lift your chin so it's parallel with the ground. Take a breath in, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, side bend over towards the left. Inhale, center reach. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, back through center, reach up. Exhale, now twist towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in through center, reach up. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Take a breath in and a breath out. Make your way onto your forearms. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Interlace your fingers. Stay on your knees for a supported forearm plank or tuck your back toes and lift your knees up. Ground down into your forearms. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. And then start to walk your feet slightly in as you hike your hips up towards the sky for dolphin pose. Drop your head down, press your chest towards the top of your thighs.
start to make your way back into forearm plank walk your feet back lower your knees if you need to engage your core imagine you have a corset on that you're tightening up and when you breathe in keep it tight but when you exhale continue to keep it tight don't let it go Start to walk your feet back in slightly as you hike your hips up. Let your head relax. Top of the head towards the mat. And start to walk back out to forearm plank. Now just lower your belly all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes, top of the other feet down, and then come into Sphinx Pose. So my elbow is underneath the shoulder. Bring your wrist in line with your elbow. Spread your hands wide. Imagine dragging the mat towards you as you slide your chest forward, chins parallel with the ground. Hug your shoulder blades together. Open up into your chest. One more breath in. As you exhale, stack your forearms on top of one another. And then rest your forehead down on top of your forearms. Relax your left leg. And then bend your right knee, drag it forward as high as you can go. And then flex your foot out towards the side. So this is half frog. Nice stretch in your right hip, right thigh. Stretching into the adductors there. Left leg is relaxed. And the longer you're in here, see if you can just bring your, your knee up a little bit higher. Walk your foot out to the side a little bit more with the inner arch against the ground. Find your breath. Release, walk your foot back towards center, realign your heel with your hip, and relax your right leg long, bend into your left knee, bring your knee up as high as you can, inner arch on the ground as your toes point out to the side. Relax your right leg. Let the inside of your left thigh melt towards the ground. And relax your jaw. Notice if you're holding any tension there. Release, walk your foot back in line with your hip, tops of the feet down, and then lift your forehead up and just switch the stacking of your forearms to balance stuff out. Lower your forehead back down, relax your left leg, and then point to your right toes, flex the leg, or rather press the back of your knee towards the ceiling. And then lift just your right leg up. 
Try to straighten into your leg as much as you can. Point your toe. And then lower your leg back down. Relax your right leg. Now straighten into your left. Point your left toes to the back wall and lift just your left leg. And lower down. Now straighten to both legs. Point your toes. Now lift both legs up towards the sky. Hold it there. See if you can lift just a little bit higher. Slowly lower it down. Now come back onto your forearms. Press yourself up onto your knees. Hands on your hips. Start to make your way all the way up into a standing position. Hands or, or feet rather are hip distance apart. Reach your hands forward as if you're in tabletop position. Take a breath in as you squeeze your shoulder blades together, elbows press back. Exhale to round, press yourself away, tuck your chin in towards your chest, round out your back. Inhale, press your hands back so they're in line with your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulders together, lift your gaze. Exhale, round, straighten into your arms. Round out your back. Inhale, come through. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. And come back through center. Relax your arms by your sides. Take a breath in as you reach your arms up to the sky. Grab a hold of your left, left wrist and take a side bend over towards the right. Bump your hips to the left. Come back through center. Reach for your opposite wrist. Take a big side bend to the left as you bump your hips towards the right. Come back through center. Reach your arms up to the sky. Goal pulse your arms, spread your fingers wide. Hug your shoulder blades together, open up into your chest. Come back through center, reach up. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Take your hands to your low back. Press into your feet and gently press your hips as forward as feels comfortable. Lift your chest up, wrap your shoulders back, lift your chin. Come back up through center. Reach your hands forward. Take a breath in. As you exhale, sit back. And then come back up. Good. Sit back. Squat. And rise back up. Squat down. Press up. One more time. Sit back. Ground down into your feet and then lift back up. Bring your hands to your hips and then lunge your left foot back. High lunge and then lower your knee slowly down to the ground. If that feels like too much pressure on your back knee, just grab a blanket or a pillow and place it underneath for more support. Untuck your back toes, tops of the feet down, hands on your hips, press your hips down and then forward. Drop down as much as you can. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Hug your shoulder blades together. If you can't quite get there today, reach for your strap and use your strap instead to hold on to. Open up into your chest. Hug your shoulders back, sink down. Lift your chin. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. And release your hands. Take your hands to your hips. Tuck your back toes. Step forward to the top of your mat. 
Let's step your opposite foot back now. High lunge. Lower your knee back down to the earth. Untuck your toes. Press your hips down and forward. Get in deeper. Adjust your front foot if you need to. Take a breath in as you reach up towards the sky. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back or reach for the strap again. Hug your shoulders together. Press your fingers down and back. Feel the opening in your chest, your shoulders. Sink down. Lift your chin slightly. Find your breath. Release your hands, hands to your hips, tuck your back toes, walk your back foot to the top of the mat. Relax into this, relax your shoulders down and back. And walk your feet in to touch. Ground down into your left foot. Open your right knee wide, kickstand your foot to the inside of your ankle. Press into your Left foot, lift your spine up towards the sky. Find this nice extension. Bring your hands to heart center. Find a focal point on the ground in front of you. Stay here or walk your foot to the inside of your, your uh, calf or the inside of your thigh for tree pose. When you find balance, Test the balance by expanding your branches. You can sway side to side. And bring your hands back down to heart center. Bring your hands to your hips. And then bring your knee forward to the top of your mat. Flex your foot, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lunge your foot back into high lunge. Square your hips forward. So your back hip is in line with your front. Bend deeply into your front knee. Zip up your back leg. Reach your arms up to the sky. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, dial your back heel down. Open your arms wide to a T for warrior two. The back edge of your foot is in line with the back edge of the mat. Press into the pinky side edge of your back foot as you bend deeply into your front knee. Keep your shoulders over your hips. And send your eye gaze down your front hand. And take a breath in as you reach forward. As you exhale, bring your forearm to the top of your thigh. Top arm reaches up and over for extended side angle. And ground down into your feet. Take your top arm, slide it down your back leg. Top arm reaches up and over. Reverse warrior. Flow back through warrior two, arms to a T. Bring your hands to your hips. Square your hips towards the top of the mat. Lift your back heel up and step forward to the top of your mat. Walk your feet together again. And we'll go into the opposite side. Ground down into your right foot. Open your left knee. Kickstand your foot to your ankle. Bring your hands to heart center. Stay there, bring your foot up a little bit higher on your leg. Just avoid putting any pressure on your knee. And when you find balance, test the balance. Make little movements. You could even try closing your eyes.
And then find stillness. Bring your knee forward, flex your foot, take a breath in. As you exhale, lunge back, reach your arms up to the sky. High lunge. Inhale. Exhale, dial your back heel down, warrior two. Send your eye gaze down your front hand. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, bring your form to the top of your thigh. Top arm reaches up and over. Breath in. Breath out. Reverse your warrior. High five the back wall. Keep the bend in your front knee. Rise back up to warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips. Square your hips forward. Step forward to the top of your mat. Bend deeply into your knees. Slowly make your way down, hands to the ground. And then come onto your knees. Stand on them, bring your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your hips. Take your hands to your low back. Take a breath in. As you exhale, gently press your hips forward, hug your shoulder blades back together, lift your chin. Come back up through center. Lower your hips down towards your heels. Take your hands down to the mat, then walk your hands forward, forward, and then bring your hips so they're more in line with your knees. And then drop your forehead down to the mat, relax your forearms down for puppy pose. Puppy pose is similar to child's pose, but we're just not sneaking our hips down towards our heels. Instead, your hips are up just a little bit higher. Melt your chest down. Relax your face. And you start to walk your hands over towards the right side of your mat. Option is stack your left hand on top of your right. Relax your forehead back down as you keep your hips lifted over your knees. Release. Press yourself up and walk yourself over to the opposite side. Bring your right hand on top of your left. Relax your chest and your head back down to the earth. Release yourself back through center. Come onto your forearms. And then swing your legs to the side. And then make your way into a seated position. Reach for your strap. And then roll onto your side. Come onto your back. Bend both knees, soles of the feet on the ground. Take your strap. Reach your right leg up towards the sky, sole, to or sole of the foot towards the sky. Take the strap, put it into the arch of your foot, and then take both sides of the strap into your right hand. Wrap the strap around your hand once so you can relax your arm more. Left leg is extended, straightened out. And then think straight right arm and straight, straighten into your right leg as much as you can. 
And it doesn't have to be up at a 90 degree angle. Your leg, it's okay if it's down a little bit more. But if you do feel like you need more support, reach for a pillow and put a pillow underneath your hips. That will help. Find your breath. Begin to open your leg out to the side, keeping your arms straight, keep your leg hovered, or you could put it on a pillow for more support. Come back up through center and then reach for your opposite hand for the strap. Wrap the strap around the hand once. Relax your opposite arm to the ground. Use it to balance as you twist over towards the left side. Keep the back of your head on the ground. Make your way back through center, bend your knee, release the foot from the strap, extend your right leg long, and then bend your left knee, bring it into your chest. Take the straps to the inner arch of your foot, straighten into your left leg, both sides of the strap into your left hand, wrap it around your hand once. Hold it there as you gently nudge the top of your thigh towards your belly. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. And open your leg over to the side, trying to maintain the straight arm, straight leg. Use your opposite arm for balance. And come back up through center, switch it out, opposite hand to strap, wrap it around your hand once. Use your left arm for balance as you twist towards the right. Come back up through center, bend your knee, release the strap, place your strap to the side, bring both knees in towards your chest, open your knees out wide, reach through your knees to the outsides of your ankles or your feet, deep bend into the knees for happy baby. And close your knees back up and start to straighten into your leg and your arms for final Shavasana. Make any adjustments you might need to get comfortable. Begin to do a scan of your body, starting at your heels. Notice your heels against the earth, supported. Relax down the tops of your feet, down into your toes. 
Notice your knees. Allow the space behind your knees to melt down towards your mat. Relax your thighs. Allow your hips to ground down. Relax your belly. Allow your shoulders to melt down away from your ears. Notice your hands. Notice if you're holding any tension. Allow your fingers to curl naturally. And then notice your face if you're holding any tension in your jaw. Relax your, relax your mouth and relax your forehead. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Bring movement into your fingers and toes. If you wanna stay longer here, just let the video play and relax. If you're ready to come out, take a big good morning stretch, roll onto your side, press yourself back up into a comfortable seat. And we'll end class with a couple rounds of breath together. Take a breath in as you reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, hands back down. Release your hands, one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Breathe into your hands. Make that last connection with your breath. And may this practice heal and strengthen your body and your mind. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.